It's the beginning of April, and I know this is the time we all get antsy to start putting our tomatoes and peppers out in the garden. You want to hold off, really, depending on where you are in the state of Oklahoma, until about mid-April. Of course, southern Oklahoma is going to get warmer faster than northern Oklahoma, so you may be able to plant a little bit sooner in the month of April. Really, the best thing to do, though, is check your weather forecast, your 10-day forecast, and see what the forecast is predicting as far as uh, warm weather or cooler fronts moving in still. Because our warm season crops will not like cooler temperatures. So be patient. It's definitely going to pay off. However, there is something that you can do with your transplants. If you've been growing them, you can see we have peppers that are ready to get out into the garden, um, but we're not going to plant them just yet. First of all, we want to do what's called hardening them off, and that is basically pushing our babies out of the nest, in essence. Here in the greenhouse, they've been receiving the ideal conditions. You can see there's no wind in here. They're getting plenty of sunlight. They've been getting watered regularly, and so they've been just growing great, which is what you want to provide for new transplants and also to get those seedlings germinated. We want to give them the best care to get them off to the proper start. However, when we plant them out in the garden, they're going to be exposed to all new sorts of environments. So we want to go ahead and start transitioning them, acclimating them to those um, environmental factors that they're going to experience. And so the best way to do that is go ahead and take them outside just for a few hours. So you can see here I've got a garden cart that I'm just going to load up our transplants and just take them outside so that they can start to experience what life is going to be like once they're moved outdoors. When you move your transplants outdoors, you don't necessarily want to put them in full sun. Even though they might have been growing under a grow light inside or even in the greenhouse, what they're going to experience outdoors in partial sun is going to be about equivalent because they're not used to the intense bright full sun of the afternoon. So early morning, put them out for a few hours or a few hours in the afternoon and each day sort of expand that range that they're outdoors in order to acclimate them and get them used to the brighter sun. The other thing is you can slowly take them further and further out of the shady area and put them in more sun as well. So to start off, you might find a shady tree. Um, even a deciduous tree that's lost its leaves is gonna provide some of that dapples shade. Perhaps a covered porch or a patio would also work as well. Now the other thing you're going to notice about these plants is they're already starting to experience some of those Oklahoma winds that are kind of brushing their vegetation. And that's going to actually dry them out faster than maybe what they were in their previous location. So we do want to make sure that we're still checking them for moisture. However, you know, letting them be a little bit thirsty, not to the point of wilting, but allowing them to experience that thirst just a little bit is going to get them used to the outdoor environment. Because again, once you plant them out into the garden, they're going to have a lot more soil to grow into that you're going to have to monitor. So having them in a cart like this allows you to kind of monitor them more closely before you plant them in the garden. Now I'm going to kind of spread these out a little bit so that they experience a little more of that wind, but I'm going to leave them on this cart so that I can simply roll them back indoors when I need to. You want to make sure to check the weather. If the temperature is going to be mild that evening, you might go ahead and leave them outside because not only do we need to get them used to the sunlight, but they still might experience some cooler nights. Now we want to make sure that they're not too cold. Um, if the temperature does get into the 40s or 50s, you might want to go ahead and bring them back in for that evening. Another thing that you can do to kind of get them ready for those Oklahoma winds is you can actually put an oscillating fan on them. So occasionally that will go past them, causing them to have disturbance and again kind of build up that strength and prepare them for our outside winds. So all of this again is just kicking those little babies out of the nest, preparing them for that full sun garden location where they're going to be exposed to more winds and also bright sunlight. This process is called hardening off and you want to do this about a week or two before you plant your vegetable garden. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. 
and join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.